What do you know about Toledo? Uh, really good basketball team. We played them twice two years ago at Green Bay, and um, yeah, they're they're a team that uh, went 27 and two in the regular season or 25 and two, whatever it was. And really good basketball team. Really good at home. When we played them a couple years ago. They had won like 25 straight games, and we were able to break their streak. But uh, really physically gifted. For a mid, they look more like a PCS team, honestly than they do a mid-major because they're just so physically talented. I think that's why a lot of us were surprised. I, I saw 29-3 and as their current record, 15-1 yeah. and one on the MAC. How did they end up in the NIT? Yeah, you know, that, and that's, that's a hard thing as a mid-major is that you just don't get the quality wins. And so you can lose in your conference tournament, you know, lost to Central Michigan in a tough game, um, and then not get in because they, they don't get the quality wins because it's hard for them to schedule. Um, but they, yeah, they're, they deserve to be in the NCAA tournament and certainly one of the best teams in the NIT for sure. Grisman is some of those girls on the team. How much does it help to have her kind of get some sort of scouting report? Yeah, I mean, obviously we've known their team. We played them twice last year, so I've known them. I know their coach really well. But uh, I think her being excited to be close to home and have some local fans will be, will be good for her. What value does that have to you, having played them? I mean, when you coach at Green Bay, having played them not only once but twice. Yeah, which is know them really well. And know you know what uh, what they do. Yeah, they're a little bit different. At that time, they had two really good shooters, and they weren't quite as physically gifted as they are now. Now they're just so athletic and so physically gifted, um, but they don't shoot it quite as well as that team. So, but still, really good basketball team. If you look at their numbers, it seems like defense is a big part of their success. Is that is that? Yeah, what you they're see? very good defensively. They pressure the basketball. You know, so many teams we face just sag, sag, sag. And, and they're a little more aggressive. They force some turnovers with how they play. They're really good on the ball. They pressure the ball hard and, and make it tough. The, the the situation with Toledo, was that just you decided to schedule one yeah. away? It wasn't you know, part of a tournament or and, anything? And we were in the same thing at Green Bay, um, you know, just trying to get a quality schedule, trying to get quality wins. And I, I went to the MAC select or the mock selection with the NCAA committee, and they said, you got to you got to get quality wins. Well, the only way to do that as a mid-major is to schedule each other. So I have, right after that, I called them and said, hey, you're one of the best mid-majors in the country. We're one of the best. Let's play each other twice. We'll play home and away. We both wanted a home game. So let's play home and away. And uh, it worked out really well for both of us. What's it going to take for this team to start maybe playing full 40 minutes because you guys got to do a full cool slow start? Yeah, we're going to have to do that here. I mean, we're, this is not a team that you can spot 11-2 like we did Eastern Illinois or 8-0 against Miami. We're going to have to get off to a good start and be ready to go. I mean, they're going to have probably 4,000 fans there and great atmosphere, so we're going to have to be ready to go. It's going to be a war. I mean, it physically it's going to have to be a war for us to, to get this done. Probably the longest season these gals have played. How are they holding up? Yeah, they're, they're doing well. We went really light today. I told them, you know, we're one of two teams in the Big Ten still playing. And the last two years, they've been the first one out. So, you know, it's a change, and that's a good change for us to still be playing, still be practicing. I think it's really helped Amber, really helped Alexis, you know, have the extra postseason, and uh, certainly great for our seniors as well. From a coaching standpoint, does that maybe help you guys out a little bit because you're spending more time with them? Yeah, I think so. It, um, you know, we just continue to get better and continue to do the right things. And the more times we're in the gym, the more we'll learn and the better we, more skilled we'll become. We've been doing a lot of shooting, and so hopefully that'll show as well.